Let's just look deeply into the blue crystal ball and see what the future holds for us all. <laughs> Don't be such a pessimist. There's lots to look forward to. Green McCarts TV. <laughs> Hello! Okay, the video that you're about to see is one of many that I've done of World War II trading cards, and cigarette cards, and collectibles. So please don't forget to check out the others after you've seen this one, and to rate them. And if you haven't already, please click on the subscribe icon, because I'll be doing lots more videos like this in the future. Okay, thanks, and enjoy watching! Hello YouTubians and internet adventurers, here I have another exciting set of World War II weapons. This particular one focuses on weapons of the USA, so I'm sure a small portion of you might be interested in this, these particular ones. Um, not so long ago I was discussing in some videos the pros and cons of um, card sets that were issued during the wars or just before the wars and those like these uh, military ones which are retrospective this particular set was issued in the mid 1970s these weapon sets tend to be more complete and the reason for that is that um, during the wars it's not always in the nation's best interests to reveal their best and latest weapons to the masses because if it falls into the hands of the enemy then they can use it uh, to their advantage and that's what happened for one uh, battleship set that I reviewed recently the Germans bought loads of them up and supplied them to their U-boat personnel to identify and destroy British ships and those of their allies so that is the advantage with these um, later sets they tend to be more complete but of course they haven't quite got that kind of nostalgic charm of the cards that were actually issued during the period anyway it's a, okay this particular set was issued by the battle picture weekly um, which was a comic that came out in the UK and they issued a number of series um, about World War II weapons, each one focusing on different countries. And this particular one is of US weapons. Now, during World War I, uh, one of the biggest problems was mobility, but the perfection of the military tank put an end to that in World War II. Germany took full advantage of these war machines when they used them to rapidly invade France, applying a strategy um, famously known as the Blitzkrieg uh, strategy. This particular set features the Sherman tank, the USA's answer to the German Panzer tanks. This set also includes the um, the famous Browning 50 caliber heavy machine gun, which was so successful that it is still used even today. Uh, let's have a look. Here's a bazooka anti-tank rocket, which inspired America's allies and enemies to replicate it. Uh, this is an interesting tank accessory. Military mines were uh, problem problematic during uh, World War II, but some ingenious contraptions, such as this one illustrated here, were used to clear the way for advancing military vehicles and infantry. Of course, there was one weapon that wasn't particularly successful and that was the Tommy gun. Although it was made famous uh, by the 1930s gangsters of America, military personnel disliked them because they were noisy and often jammed at crucial moments. Not much 
use if your uh, nick's on the line the last card in this series features the interestingly shaped p38 lightning fighter this aircraft instilled fear in the germans who named it the two-tailed devil and on the backs of these cards it's got lovely uh, descriptions great set of cards i've already um reviewed the uh, german weapons set and i'll be uh, reviewing lots more in the future so please uh keep an eye out and also i've i've done quite a few um other collectibles videos so please don't forget to check those out thanks for watching if you'd like to find out more about this particular item or other such items please feel free to pop by my website at creamofcards.com oh no i'm afraid we've run out of time but just before you go please leave comments up below and if you'd like to see more amazing video clips like this subscribe to the track by clicking on the icon up in the sky a creamofcards tv